Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple column chart. So when I mean simple, I'm talking about a simple minimalist kind of column chart. Now this may be something that you would see in a newspaper or a magazine. There's not too many things that would uh, detract away from the column chart. Just the items themselves and the percentages of what they represent. So it's very simple, very clean, and I'll show you how to create something like this. So let's go into sheet two here. Now I've copied over the data from the other table here, and basically we just have uh, five records, uh, items one to five, and we have one column for the percentage that we want to use, and we have another column that is going to be 100%. And this basically is uh, two columns or two series of data, and one just kind of overlapping the other. So let me go ahead and create the column chart. So let me go and select anywhere in this table or this range, go under insert and then I'll just go and select a column chart. So this is a basic column chart that we have. The first series of data which is in blue it represents uh, this first column here and the second one which is 100% represent the second column. So the idea that we want to do or the the thing that we want to do is we want to have this column kind of like in front or behind of it and we just want to get rid of that fill color and just have a borderline color and increase the size. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to give colors to each of these so you can represent item 1, 2, and 3, and 4, 5 with the column here. So I'm going to give item 1, maybe I'll give it a color here and I'll go kind of just start with uh, maybe this first color here and then I'll do the same here for this one. So once I select the bar chart you can see the selected everything. If I click again it will just select that image and I can also use this to, to give the color to that. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Item 2 I'm going to go ahead and select a different color and then do the same here and go ahead and select a different color and I'm going to go ahead whoops I forgot to just double click that select so I'm going to press control Z to undo that and so I'm just going to select that again and make sure that's the only one selected and now select that color now I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video and you don't have to see me do this thing over and over again Now that the color selection is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the bar, the, the width of, his, of this, and also kind of pull this second series data over here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and select this one first. So I, f I forgot to mention earlier that this is on Excel 2013. So uh, some of the commands have changed places. So when you click on the chart here, you can see some of the icons here that show different commands here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the one of the one of the uh, columns and go just double click that it's going to bring up a navigation pane here and what I want to do is I'm going to increase that gap with or actually want to decrease that gap with maybe I'll bring it down to about uh, 90 uh, let me go and just type 90 in here and for the series overlap I wanted to lap I want it to overlap 100% so I'm just going to go ahead and move that over to 100% and now you can see that it kind of overtook everything and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here and it's going to be series 2 and the reason why I know that is because I clicked on it and you can see here but just to make sure I can go under format and you can see that series 2 is the one that's active what I want to do with series 2 is I want to make this transparent so I can go under the fill bucket here the fill series and click no fill and you can see now see that there's no color in there just we have the outline and I want to change the outline or that border to a more pronounced but not too pronounced uh, border so I'm going to go ahead and select a gray I'm going to click select solid line and click on gray maybe I'll select oh this one's already selected maybe I'll give it a little bit darker let me see how that looks and then click outside you can see that it's a little bit darker but the lines are a little bit too thin so I'm going to go ahead and click it again and go back to the fill bucket and I'm going to scroll down and for the width, I'm going to increase a little bit, maybe to 1.5. Uh, 1.5 looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and get rid of these uh, grid lines here. Go ahead and click that. You can see the grid lines are selected. Press delete. And we have our grid lines. I don't need uh, this particular legend, so I'm going to go ahead and select that and press delete. And let me go ahead and see what, how this looks. Next I want to go ahead and change the axis here. I want to make sure that it goes from 0 to 100% because 100% would be my maximum. You can see it's 120% here. So I'm going to go ahead and have this. Once this is selected, I'm going to go into 
the axis options here and that maximum I'm going to change that just to 1. And once that's done it's just going to be it's going to top out at 100 percent. I'm going to go ahead and press tab and that's selected. Now once that's done I, want, I just wanted to make sure that that's at 100 percent. I don't really need this anymore because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the percentage for each one at the top. So I'm going to go ahead once that's selected just press delete. But I just wanted to make sure that it's at 100 percent. And I also want to kind of move uh, the the chart area down. So I'm going to go ahead and select anywhere in, the, in this chart. So this is the chart area. Now this is the plot area. This is where the, the, the chart area and also items such as the axis are part of. But I just want to select the chart here and go ahead and bring that down a little bit first. And so it kind of looks better when I have the uh, numbers here. So what I'm going to do is select that, that, that particular bar. So once I select it in there, you can notice that it's selected. Uh, it looks like it's selected Series A. If I want to select Series 1, which is this column, I'm going to go ahead under Format and just go under here and select Series 1 under the current selection. So you can notice that now there's a bar around there. And you can notice on the chart itself, it has selected those charts. And I want to right click and go to Add Data Labels. And I want to add the data label. So it's added each one. Whoops, it added the wrong one. Let me go back into, let me press Control Z and make sure I'm in Series 1 and then right click and then add data labels. And now I've got the correct data labels. And what I want to do is I, I want to move them above the 100% portion of that bar, that second bar. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and select each one. Click that again to select that one and just kind of move it up here. Select this one. Whoops, we got that line here. So what it's done, it's put a leader line. So I, I can do that and select that and just press delete and then get rid of the leader line. I'll do the same thing for this one. Select that one. You can still select everything, but I'll just select it again, click it again, and kind of move it up, and that should stay there. So I'll do the rest for uh, these remaining bar, these remaining column charts and speed up the video. Now once that's done, basically now it's just a little bit more formatting. So I'm going to go ahead and put a title to it. Let's call this Products. And then I'm going to go ahead and just clean it up here, just get rid of these grid lines, go under View, and remove the grid lines, and maybe remove this box, because I don't need that box. Go ahead and select that box, and for the border, uh, no line. And then for that particular line here, I'm don't, I don't, maybe I don't need that line. So for this axis line, I'm not going to need it. I'm going to go ahead and select that, and just for the line, I'm going to say no line there. And so now, let me go ahead and select that site. Now that line is gone. And so it's, it looks pretty clean. Maybe I'll just kind of reduce the size a little bit and kind of move it up here. And now we have our very simple minimalistic column chart. So if I wanted to add a little shadow, I can go ahead and click on there because I added shadow earlier. Let me see what I can do for the effects shadow. So let me go to one of the preset shadows. Let me see how that would look. Maybe I have it come offset from the bottom right. And there we go. So there's a very simple minimalistic column that you can column chart that you can probably add into a slide deck. And if you had any changes here, let's say for example we changed that to maybe 45%, you notice that that changed a little bit. And unfortunately, also changed the um, the the label here. But it's pretty simple since we have a pretty small amount of column charts. We can just move that back up here to above the 100 portion of that second series and that stays there and so oh one more thing I wanted to show let's say for example you wanted to hide this particular column this doesn't really represent any data that you want to show but if I go ahead and select this column right click and go under hide you'll notice that those borders now they disappeared and basically what's happening is when we're hiding uh, a series of data from the table the source table on the chart it also hides it. Well one way we can do to uh, mitigate that or to keep that particular series of data there even though we hide it in the source table is we can go ahead and select in the chart and go under uh, design go to select data and once we have the select source data window open go ahead and click on hidden and empty cells and what we want to do is we want to show data in hidden rows and columns. I'll go ahead and have that checked click OK and then click OK to get out of there. And now even though we hid that particular source data table, it shows up in the column of the chart. So that would help solve that problem. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.